Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 4. I just wanted to let you guys know that you'll be seeing a lot of Dragon Age videos coming out in October and November. Don't worry, I got you guys covered. Still gonna have lots of Fallout 4 and Skyrim videos coming out uh, on a regular basis every week. Just so you know, so don't be too worried. We're doing the Combat Zone quest, or no, not Combat Zone. We're going to rescue Nick today. So that we can open up Far Harbor when we're ready to do it. Which is my favorite Fallout 4 DLC. Well, my favorite Fallout DLC. Much better than Shattered Space. <laughs> okay. So you guys probably saw footage that was mashed up a lot right there. Um, I had some problems in this little area with crashing, and I might still. I had some corrupted files. I had to completely reinstall my game, which, using the patcher, the the downgrain patcher is actually down. Just say downgrade or downgrain. Downgrade. Is actually very very seamless and I'm trying to do this and I am absolutely failing life trying to pick a novice lock like I've never played Fallout before nice you know what's kind of funny is how many no matter how many times you um have improvement mods perfect load order things still break and that's just the nature of Bethesda. Hey, you can have the perfect setup and something will break every now and then or you'll crash the desktop and your files will get uh, scrambled, I guess. That's too bad. You know, without the crashing, like I could play these games forever, you know. I would just love a game where it would be awesome on release from Bethesda. You know, <laughs> good UI, good gameplay, good looking characters, which is pretty much, you know, impossible. Fine. They they make fun game environments to play, but uh, the whole story and looks department is another thing. one right there yeah I really like this M MA3 is that what's called yeah, I've got a 308 but I can't zoom I've also got this grack pistol kind of sounds like a staple gun staple gun kind of Um, I forgot that we're doing a strength brotherhood build, so I can't use vats very much. There's very little agility. No AP. That's okay, though. I'm more hardy. I last a lot longer in battle. You know, than your average follow build. I also don't usually play this game past, like, level 70 or so, so builds kind of work for me. But I've never been past level 80, so I couldn't tell you. I usually beat the game, explore as much as I can think I can see, do the DLCs, and then I start over. Like, I don't have a character that's like, you know, hundreds of levels or hundreds of hours old. You guys have that? Like, you just have a character you will, you keep playing over and over and over? Some people do, and I think that's why Bethesda went with uh, New Game Plus on Starfield. Let me grab that. I'm not a fan of new game plus in games. Because I like to start from scratch and kind of redo something different, you know? And I don't like being overpowered when I uh, boot up. It works for some games. For a lot of them, I don't think it really works well. I didn't like it in Starfield because you lost all your gear. I was like, well, what's the point? 
So I beat the game once, took a break, didn't play again. Yeah, and I don't care about star powers at all. Like they're nice to use to just get some a little bit of control on the battlefield, but that's it. I'll take you. And today we are wearing this outfit again. I might change later. I don't know. I really like Vita's stuff. Like I feel like I don't need armor mods from anyone else. He just does such a fantastic job with armor. In Fallout 4. I just wish Starfield would pick up in that avenue, you know. Oh shit. Ancient food. Oh, someone's got a shotgun. I got you, Piper. Got your six. Seven and your eight, but not your nine. He's got a tactical toss. I've been looking for one of those. All right. Let's switch to a shotgun, though. This tactical shotgun uh, intrigues me. Cool looking gun too. Like it. So I got a question. Why the hell would anyone build a vault out of a subway station? Oh. <laughs> Because they weren't planning to use it, you moron. What he was gonna say. Who's there? Nice. That shot from the corner. What do you think that was? Lou, we're not alone. Hey. I see you. There's a lot of ghouls down here. Well, not all ghouls, but most of them. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, Fallout 4 just breaks. I don't know why, but when that happens, I usually just uh, reinstall the game, patch it up with the downgrader, and then it's good for about a month or two and it just breaks over time. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Fall 3 and New Vegas don't do that. I've never had to do that for those. I don't know if it's the way uh, Creation Engine 2 restructures their games or what, but... How you doing in there, Valentine? Maybe it's some mod I have that does that. Keep just breaks my game files over time, you know? Give Malone more time to think about how he's gonna bump you off. Don't give me that crap, Valentine. You know nothing, you got nothing. Really? Saw him writing your name down in that black book of his. 
Lousy cheating card shark, I think were his exact words. Who is now dead? Talk? I don't love the irony of the reverse damsel in distress scenario. Question is, why did our heroine risk life and limb for an old private eye? I don't know. Seemed like you needed help. Well, thanks. I've been cooped up in here for weeks. Turns out the runaway daughter I came here to find wasn't kidnapped. She's Skinny Malone's new flame, and she's got a mean streak. Anyway, you got troubles, and I'm glad to help. But now ain't the time. Let's blow this joint. Then we'll talk. Malone's crew here used to be small time. This is Vault Tech interview, number zero, for the position of Overseer for Vault 14B. Interview subject, Benjamin Beeson. Mr. Beeson. As overseer of Vault 114, how would you settle a disagreement between two of your vault residents? Well, I would obviously take it through the proper channel. Oh wow, that was a fail. Hey now. You can actually find a lot of those uh, Abraxos here, which I use for gun crafting. Uh, none here, though. This door's on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Almost got it. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. I didn't even see it. Oh my god. Huh? Nice. Ooh, that's useful for me because I uh, don't have a lot of agility. I wonder who would move in here after. Probably another rival gang. Or else they just like repopulate. After skinny dice. Yeah, it's just like a decent amount of that stuff here. So. I love how his head just like floats off of his body when I blow his head off. Like copyright claims, off you go. YouTube needs an overhaul in claims and stuff like that. It's so outdated. I, don't think we're alone. I mean, it's probably a lot better now than it was like 10 years ago or 15 years ago. 
when YouTube first booted up and people's channels probably got taken down for playing copyright music. Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Dangerous. Another locked this. door. Shouldn't be too hard. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. You come into my house, shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. A shame you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to daddy, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle, you hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this! Skinny Malone's always. His scope is not attached to his gun. What are you doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought us here to rub us all out. That wasn't the plan originally, but hey, tempting. Hey, I'm the one in charge here. You got something to say? Say it to me. You're fat, you're ugly, and it's time you and your crazy bitch said goodbye. <laughs> Darla just came a swinging. Wait, why does I have a higher chance of killing them? Piper did not like that. Oh, look at all the loot she has. When I tell them their daughter bit the big one. Well, at least the case is closed. Let's get True. out of here. Time for a payday. Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Your secretary, Ellie. She sent me. She did? I should give her a raise. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City. Are you here? Nick? Oh God, it's really you. Well, it's hard to mistake this mug for anyone else. <laughs> You keep laughing at death. Someday death's gonna laugh back. Not as long as I got a few friends to back me up. You saved Nick, this agency, and my job. Thank you. 
Happy to do it. Yeah? Go diving into scary pre-war ruins all the time then, do you? Here. I know an amount wasn't on the table when you went out to find him, but you deserve a reward. Plus a little something extra. You know, if you're looking for work and don't mind putting on the detective hat, Nick sure could use a new partner. Whoa. One case at a time, Ellie. Our new friend needs our help first. All right, let's get down to business. Take a seat. Make yourself comfortable. Oh, the day passed 199. When you're trying to find someone who's gone missing, the devil is in the details. Tell me everything you can, no matter how painful it might be. What have you heard? Mm, nothing over here. We'll talk later. You know where to find me. Okay, so we'll do this next time. Because I have to do the vault quest, which I forgot to do because I'm using a uh, alternate start. So, But we finished the quest. We got him back. Mop. Okay, let's get out of here. Yeah, I totally forgot about that. <laughs> it's been... Huh? What's that? You see that? Hey! Wouldn't it like cave in the train? Like the whole area here would just be completely collapsing in. Oh wow, mine <laughs> does nowhere near enough. Nice, took him out. I was a little nervous about doing the library because they're super mutants and I'm not sure what level they were, but evidently it's all good. The robots though, on the other hand, are crazy. Lasers do so much. I don't know why. But some coefficient that maybe got altered with one of my mods. Robots on steroids. Welcome to the Boston Public Library. The library is currently closed. Do not leave Sweet. All right, we're going to switch to the Ram 7 for this because this is a bit of a fiasco, this little spot. Ooh, that hurt the ears. All right, so there's robots here, robots there, and then there's mutants. Oh, I guess they got killed already. What was that? Yeah, see, they hit hard. It's okay, I like this gun. Different tool for the right job. I think this might be my favorite AR besides the QBZ. Or the RU556, I mean. Pretty fun gun. I think Raiders used to hold this place too. Or the super mutants moved in. I think that's their turrets that are set up. Oh, 
Oh my god. I didn't see my health. Whoops. Should have known better when uh saw Piper go down. Just sort of saw my health bar there just drop. Let's try this again, shall we? Do you guys think we're ever going to get another Metro game? I don't think so, because it's been a long time since Metro Exodus. I think they just don't know, like, for a plotline what to do. I don't think we're getting another one. But it's also been, like, what? 10 years next year since this game came out? I think we're getting a new fallout till probably 2035 <laughs> what i'm really old all right may as well save it so i have to do that all over again I mean, I'll, I'll probably be playing Fallout 4 forever, you know. Not forever, but all the time. So it's nice to play, like, every once in a while, just boot it up, you know. Bum around like this, and... Every day, though, I don't, I couldn't do that. I'm shooting at, but there must be something there. Hey, you said you could hide. It's got like one health left. Oh, can see through. I mean, but you know, I was thinking, after Starfield, I'm not really excited about the future. And I'm kind of like, eh, I don't know. Modded is fine. Ouch. There's one zo uh, zombie. Yeah, lasers in this game are killer. Ugh. Funny in Fallout 3, they do like nothing at all. Yeah, Fallout 3, they suck. Uh, New Vegas Plasma is crazy good. And in this game, they just hit so hard. Damn laser rifles. Negotiate. I did negotiate with my rifle. Ooh, metal. Reduces damage while standing. Oh, well, that's good actually for me. I definitely do not. I've actually never actually watched anyone else play Fallout 4, so.
I think I tried to watch some, someone play once, like for Skyrim or something, and they just moved so slow. They were like walking everywhere, and it just kind of drove me crazy. But I guess there's certain irks about every, everyone else that'll make someone else crazy too, you know? Get our bobblehead. Feel so smart. Looks like someone's getting some reading. It. Poison here. Intelligence increased by one. Awesome. I need to make like a bobblehead stand at home. No one else is allowed. Get out of here. Listen there now. Find him and kill him. Like hey. My third person is like kind of bugged out. I was like, what? She's like trying to someone's trying to talk to her. She keeps turning her head like that. Like, I think Piper was trying to have a special little moment with me, and then some raiders just uh, interrupted that. Very foolishly, like. Is that it? Just these two? Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that guy has some rockets. I remember getting killed by him a lot. Ah, he does. Yeah, he always kills me when I come through here, but not today. Well, guys, that's it for today. Uh, next time we will do some wandering around it. I think on the episode after that, we'll go after Kellogg and talk to Nick. So I hope you guys have a great one. Take care and see you later.